Hello guys, another awesome TV from RCA, LED TV, this is the model number and I'll show you how to repair the LEDs here. This is the only board in there, main board, LED driver, everything. We measure the output voltage here to the LEDs, that's 33 volts while it's off and when we try to turn it on uh, it will go up to about 130 volts yeah, that's the, the little peak at the end we see here that's uh, DC voltage so that's easy to measure even with a multimeter so we have to disassemble the whole thing to get to the LEDs remove the PCB then remove these little uh, screws around here yeah, here the main PCB is removed then we have to flip over the, the, the long PCB here be careful not to damage the ribbon cables this is actually this is glued to the metal housing so be very careful not to break the PCB yeah, once this is done you see the glue here uh, remove the little screws here around here now you flip over the TV and you'll be able to remove the front bezel then the LCD glass very careful here this is very thin and fragile after that remove the plastic frame that holds the diffuser sheets then remove the diffuser sheets and afterwards uh, you'll see the LEDs already now this, the reflector, the white big reflector sheet has to be removed too there's some screws in here now you will have to check each LED individually just apply about 2.7, 2.8 volt or higher voltage with the resistor in series the polarity of the LEDs is marked on the LED strip. So in on this on this one here I found only one LED that's defective. I cracked off the little plastic lens on top of the the LED and then you have to remove the LED. Some people use hot air, I prefer removing the whole strip which is held by some screws here in this case removing this particular LED is pretty easy you can do that with uh, hot air or you put it on a hot plate I always prefer a hot plate then put some solder paste on the pads and just solder the new LED on it but it can be in this case it can be done with a soldering iron too pretty easily once this is done, glue the little lens back on the LED strip. After that, check all the LEDs. I always prefer the, uh, to test the whole strip at once. Here in this case it's about uh, 20 volts. To apply at, uh, at one LED strip. So once this is done and you're sure the LEDs are okay, just um, put everything back together and test the TV. And now you could you could do you could leave it the way it is, or you could lower the LED current. I always lower LED current because otherwise it would happen again to the other LEDs pretty soon, I'm sure. So let's measure the LED current here it's it's about 350 milliamps that's uh, quite a lot and it's not necessary to have such a high current to lower the LED current we have to find out what uh, controller chip it uses and in this case here it's this one here and it's the OB3350 chip yeah on this schematic here we can see it that there are actually different ways to 
lower the LED current. I didn't think too much about it and I just increased the resistors at the source of the MOSFET but the better way would actually be to increase the resistor that are in series with the LEDs. But anyway it works the same way. Yeah, I just removed two resistors here of these uh, little ones and it goes up to 290 milliamps. So this is actually still quite a lot and and this is why I now think it would be better to change the series resistors the of the LEDs and not the resistors in series with the source of the MOSFET as I did here. But anyway I re changed the resistors the total resistance of these four resistors now to 1 ohm and the current goes up to 100 milliamps that's a little bit too low uh, I would say instead of these four 0 0.68 resistors we could put something like a, a total resistance of 0 0.5 ohm to 0 0.75 or 82 ohm or we don't change these resistors but we change resistors in series with the with the LEDs that's something I didn't do here it just works the same way yeah thanks guys this was it uh, thanks for watching and um, I wish you luck with your repair